You've known President Trump for years, well before his political days. What's he like as a person and how would you describe your relationship today? Well, he, uh, we have known uh, President Trump, my husband and I, for about 25 years. Uh, he's actually was involved in a couple of skits uh, at WWE uh, in the past. I have found him to be an incredibly loyal friend. Uh, he does what he says he's going to do. He really works incredibly hard. Uh, and he's pretty much um, committed to really making uh, America great again. And I'm, I'm very proud to serve in his administration. So the president is not particularly popular in Multnomah County. There were only about 17% of voters here who voted for him. He did a little bit better in suburban Portland and rural areas, but still lost by 11 points statewide. Safe to assume some of the business owners you're meeting with maybe aren't his biggest fan. I'm curious if that comes up in meetings and what do you tell them who, to the people who maybe don't trust him when it comes to politics? Well, I'd have to hear what they have to say. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna speculate on what any of the issues might be, but that is really the purpose of the tour. How can you know what people are thinking if you don't get out and talk to them? So that's part of my job, that's part of my task. I want to know what folks have to say. And um, you know, the bottom line is he was elected president of the United States and uh, I'm, I'm fully on board with being supportive of him and proud to be in his cabinet. Surely it's come up though at some of these town hall meetings you've done. I mean, what do you tell them to kind of ease their concerns about the work you're doing with the SBA? I haven't really heard those concerns. Uh, I've heard concerns about policy. I've heard concerns about health insurance. I've heard concerns about the regulatory environment and the tax environment because what small businesses are telling me is, Boy, we'd love to see taxes cut mm -hmm. because they are most of the time uh, sub S corps or LLC sole proprietorships. So their income flows through their ordinary income account. So they're not worried so much about loopholes in this. They just say cut the rate. You know, we're paying 35% and we, mm -hmm. boy, if you could get it to 15% as the president says or 20, that would be incredibly great. The regulatory environment is so strong. I'll give you an example. When I was campaigning, for the Senate in the state of Connecticut, there was a nickel plating company that was there. And so there's a lot of caustic chemicals involved in that. And the owner told me, he said, look, I, I should be regulated. But, you know, I, I don't, I wanna make sure that I don't have anything here or practices that would harm the people working in my plant. I don't wanna release, you know, poisonous gases into the atmosphere. But let me tell you what happened. EPA came in and they couldn't find anything to write me up on. And they wrote me up because the signs on the men's and women's room were not regulation size. Hmm. And I said, well, did anybody get confused and go in the wrong bathrooms? He said, no. And he said, but the thing of it is, if it's a, it's, if it's a rule or regulation that you're not um, you know, up to speed on, and you are told, I'll be back in 30 days, correct this. But that wasn't the case. They checked the box, they fined him $5,000, that's a lot of money for a small business. Mm -hmm. So the regulatory environment needs to be just. It needs to address the real issues and not go overboard. And those are the things I hear from small businesses. Okay, questions about Russian interference with the election and the nature of contacts between Russia and the Trump campaign continue to dog the administration. It's hampered President Trump's ability to push a legislative agenda in some aspects. Do you feel that spills over into agencies like yours and how they conduct day-to-day -day business? I have not in one business roundtable or one business that I have toured or any of my walkarounds with small businesses in all the states I've been to already had the Russian issue raised one time. These are entrepreneurs that are looking to grow their businesses and look, you know, small businesses, the backbone of the economy, even in Oregon, you know, there are 98 percent of businesses in Oregon are small businesses and over half of the population of Oregon are employed at small businesses. We have to grow this economy. Everybody wants the economy to grow. It's very hard when you're out there to hear people say, oh, I'm not in favor of small business. I don't want anybody to, to start a business. That just doesn't exist. And so the focus that I'm focused on, how do we help them grow and how do we help them be better?